Hey, hey guys, hey, Cody, how you doing, sir? Hey, I'm doing all right. Doing all right. We got another uh, another week with a new vendor this week um, with some information. So we've linked together with uh, WeBoost this week, right? Um, just to have a conversation about uh, about some of their product and, together and their with, line. Uh, so this week, right? Um, um, oh. Just to have a conversation. There we go. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so um, without further ado, I suppose we'll just bring Jeff uh, Jeff Young from WeBoost and uh, and have a conversation. And he's got some awesome products. I'm just having a conversation before this live. I've already learned a lot, so I'm sure this is going to be beneficial for a lot of people. So we'll bring him on. Hey Jeff. There you go. Hey Jeff. Hello. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? Not too bad. I say welcome to the show, sir. Great. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. We, so, uh, so we were sorry to interrupt you while you're out in the desert there. Hope we didn't uh, catch you at a bad time. So yeah, I got to <laughs> get in my Jeep and take off here. Right. Luckily, he's got cell phone signal, I suppose. <laughs> hey, yeah, I bet he has cell phone signal. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't. Yeah, I would. I, I live in Arizona. I would not travel some of the places I drive without one in my car because there you go. You know, there's roadside assistance, but it doesn't do you any good if you can't call it. A good thought. Um, so, yep. so, should I go? Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's talk yeah, about some yeah, reboots. Yeah. Jump right into it. Well, All right. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate uh, making the time today. Um, thank you for DAS for inviting us on. We've been partners for a long time, and uh, but I think it's this is overdue. I'm glad we're doing this. And I'm going to go through some slides, just give you an overview of what our products are uh, in the WeBoost brand. And if you have questions, put it in the chat. Um, we can answer those. And also, um, you know, we look forward to furthering conversations and presentations if, uh, if there's anything else that comes up um, that you're particularly interested in. So just a brief me mention, you hear WeBoost all the time. Wilson Electronics is the name of the company, the manufacturer that makes WeBoost. So if you hear Wilson Electronics, um, you know, that's, uh, that's the same company. Uh, there are other companies out there with the name Wilson in it. So if you see those, those are not the manufacturer, they might be resellers. So just make sure you're looking at Wilson Electronics or WeBoost. So we've been in this industry for a very long time, sold millions of units. Uh, we started off even before cell phones in the RF space. And so we've got a lot of experience, a lot of patents in this industry. We were really the first ones that developed cell phone boosters, uh, amplifiers uh, for all sorts of uh, uh, customers. And so you can you know basically rely on us to help with uh with the cellular signal challenges that you or your customers have um you know basically as i mentioned we cover all carriers all users and in all places and we'll talk about what those places are you can see there's a, a truck up there but uh, whether it's a, a residence or an office building or anything like that and all users because it's any kind of cellular device so it could be a phone a tablet um, it doesn't really matter as long as it uses a cellular connection. And then all carriers, all carriers in the US, and we have uh, Canadian versions for anyone that's interested. Um, it's different because of the different carriers up there, but it does the same thing. And so AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and then all the regional carriers that basically uh, piggyback off them, that's really uh, what we support. And that's right out of the box. You don't need to configure anything. If you have a signal, outside you walk inside just works um, so no passwords or anything okay so let's talk about WeBoost and uh you know what we do i think we start off with explaining you know why people need a cell booster and this is kind of interesting even before i started with wilson several years ago uh you know i had cell problems like most other people um my assumption was if i had a problem i just needed to change carriers or uh, get a new phone or update it in some way but I didn't really realize what the real problem was. And, you know, besides missed calls and um, dropped uh, drop calls, poor call quality, but missing texts and things like that was, was something I experienced. And the real cause is primarily, the number one cause is building materials. Glass, steel, concrete, uh, those things block a lot of things. They block the sun, they, but they also block radio signals. And so you really have a hard time uh, communicating reliably when you're inside. You could make a call outside and then you go in a building and that's why you always see people go out the door into the parking lot and make a call or, or send a text. 
Um, even things like surrounding terrain, if you have mountains, if you live in an area like that, or you have a lot of trees around, especially in the summertime when there are leaves on the trees, surprisingly, it does block signal, just like it blocks rainfall. Um, so those could be affecting it. Another one that's probably pretty common, you know, as far as what people think is uh, distance to the cell tower. So when you're out remotely and you're away from cell towers, every foot you go, a cell signal from a tower gets weaker. Um, so then you have to pick up the next cell tower as you move uh, move along. And even uh, other buildings. So somebody might move into a building uh, or if you've ever driven down a densely uh, a dense city with lots of tall buildings, all of a sudden, you know, your, your GPS might drop out or even your cell signal might drop out. Those things that are in the way, anything that's between you and the tower is, is potentially going to uh, block that signal and cause you problems. Um, this is just some information about, you know, the innovations that we've done. Uh, but I will point out one, a couple of things on here that are important. One is we design everything in Dallas, Texas. We manufacture everything in St. George, Utah. So it's, you know, U.S. Uh, produced. And um, we also have money back guarantees. So if you or your customers get these products, install them correctly. If you have a problem, you can call our 800 number. Again, we do all of our support out of Utah. Um, and then if it's not working, they're not satisfied, you can return it. Uh, we have a 30-day 30, 30 money-back guarantee just for whatever reason. And uh, But usually, if there's any issues, they can solve it. Maybe it's just the way that it's been installed is, is not optimal. And um, one thing I think that people uh, have a question about, because it's cellular, is what's the cost? Well, the cost is just the cost to buy the product. Um, we have no, there's no subscription services, no monthly fees that they have to pay. You're already paying your, your carrier for that. So, you know, basically, as I mentioned before, if you're making calls outside and you go inside or get in your vehicle, it just works uh, and, and it works on the same system. So just in a, in, to make this really easy of how our systems work and all of our systems basically work the same way. We have three components, an outdoor, outside antenna, uh, an amplifier and interior antenna or antennas, depending on if it's a building. Uh, so basically we're capturing the signal from the towers outside. This is generally mounted on the roof of a building or on the roof of a vehicle. It grabs the signal there, amplifies it about 32 times and then broadcast that more powerful signal inside to all the users for all the carriers and any device. Another way that this works, especially in vehicles, is that, you know, as I mentioned before, you've got a tower. Uh, I'm not sure you can see my pointer, but it's over here on the left, a tower. And then as your vehicle's moving further from the tower, the signal's getting weaker. There's another tower on the right. And if the carrier's done a good job, they have an overlap there. But Sometimes there's, for whatever reason, uh, there's a dead zone. Everybody's, everybody kind of knows where those dead zones are on the highway when you're driving. You, know, you might drop out in a mile. So what we do is we are able to extend that signal because we make it more powerful. Um, we're able to keep it connected all the way through till it reaches the coverage of the next tower. Um, kind of already mentioned our service, but again, that's uh, that's something that's always there to, uh, to back you up if you have any questions. So we break our, our WeBoost products down into really three categories, vehicle, residential, and small, medium business. So that's what I'm gonna talk about. And I'll just kind of go over right now, vehicle. Uh, we make a device for any type of vehicle, whether it's a passenger car, SUV, uh, a van, RVs, um, 18 wheelers, fleet vehicles, and then Overland, which is uh, one of our newest products. But basically any type of vehicle, the amplifier is the same, but the types of antennas that are used in these different uh, environments can change slightly. Um, we're used by a lot of, a lot of different companies, uh, even the Subaru racing team, which drives off road and generally in the middle of nowhere needs to communicate with their support team Uses it, you can actually see there's a, a whip antenna, there's an omni antenna on top there that, uh, uh, I'm sorry, that actually to the left of the whip antenna, the little uh, OTR or the um, WeBoost drive antenna right on top. 
And that's how they communicate and they've been using it for years. We are also the, the most powerful cell booster allowed by the FCC. So they have a limit on how powerful they can be. They didn't, we make them more powerful, but uh, uh, it is very strong and it's able to pick up towers very far away. When I say very far away, I'm, I'm meaning in like five miles, 10 miles, not 100, 200 miles. Um, so again, this is kind of how it works. You can see here in a vehicle, got the outdoor antenna on top. Uh, this one's mounted to a rack, uh, a cable that comes in and goes to the amplifier and then a little short cable that goes to the interior antenna. And I have this set up exactly in my vehicle. Uh, and this is mounted on the dash right next to a cradle where I keep my, my phone when I'm driving. So it makes it very easy, but all of this is pretty much hidden underneath carpets and seats. So you don't see it. Um, we will talk about the fleet version which for professional installations, um, you know, where they're putting through a headliner and things like that, you've got those options. But uh, this could be a DIY. I do it, and I actually move my my booster between vehicles sometimes, and even take it on trips when I'm traveling, bring it and put it on my uh, rental car if I'm going to be out in the mountains or something like that. Um, so then for passenger vehicles, and all of these are are, are going to be fairly consistent where you've got the drive reach, which is our best amplifier. This can recognize it because it's red with fins on it, heat sink fins on it. The drive X, which is actually the predecessor to the drive reach. And then the drive sleek, which is a cradle. And this one's for a single user only. So uh, I'll explain why. The drive reach and the drive X um, have this indoor antenna you see here on the left. And that broadcasts a signal to everyone in the cabin. Um, you know, so if you're mounting that on the dashboard, it should cover the entire vehicle uh, for a standard size vehicle. And it's all people at once. So you could have different carriers, different kinds of phones, doesn't matter. It's going to use that. And we cover a, a lot of different bands. Uh, the Drive X is a little less expensive, but it's not as powerful. So you can see that the drive reach reaches up to 74% farther. So that is uh, important. And then the drive sleek will, uh, I'm sorry, the drive X actually reaches a little bit farther than the drive sleek. While the drive sleek itself isn't as powerful, you can see this thing that looks kind of like a candy bar shape on the right. That's the amplifier compared to the size of the amplifiers of the other ones. And again, these aren't very big. They're about four inches by uh, five inches. So pretty compact, but the, what makes the drive sleek really uh, powerful is that you're putting your phone right in the, the cradle. And so the cradle is the interior antenna. Your phone is as close to the antenna as it could possibly get. So you really still get a very strong signal. And so if you're just planning on having this in your vehicle and you're the only one and you don't need to boost anybody else, we have the, the drive sleek. Um, so we have a couple of specialty, I'd call them specialty, uh, um, kits and one of them is the OTR kit. It's got this OTR antenna. And if you guys have, you know, driven around in, in Texas or a lot of places that, you know, have pickup trucks, you'll see these on pickup trucks and you'll wonder it's the shape of it slightly changed slightly about two years ago, but it basically looks like a, a baton, it's a, a mast and it's sticking up off the vehicle. And so the newest version of this OTR is called the reach overland. And what we did here is we've got this, small uh, mount that's a adjustable mount. So we'll show some pictures in a minute, but basically you can lower the mass without having to take the, uh, without having to take the antenna off. And that's uh, important sometimes if you're going under trees and, and things like that. So that one has sold very, very well and uh, is probably taken a little of the OTR business just because of that flexibility. Um, as I mentioned, the fleet. So again, you know, if you're a utility company or you're a delivery company, you probably have an uh, upfitter that's putting all the other types of equipment on there. Sometimes you have uh, equipment in there that is is tracking orders or uh, other types of vehicle performance, uh, and so that's all communicating via cellular. So in addition to the phone that maybe a delivery person might be using. It could be able to provide signal to that. And, you know, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and your truck breaks down, you're supposed to be doing deliveries, 
Uh, if you're in a place where you can't make a cell signal, a cell call, that's a problem, or if there was an accident. So you want to make sure that your uh, commercial fleet vehicles have the ability to uh, get a good signal. The other two, um, so the again, this is the uh, drive reach fleet. It's got this um, little uh, NMO antenna on it, which is great for most vehicles. It's got the OTR antenna if you want that version for um, something that's maybe got a box on the back, a truck, so that you can make sure this part of the antenna is up higher than the box. And then what we call the drive reach flex fleet. It's the same type of thing, but it comes with two, uh, two options for mounting. So this is the exterior antenna that goes on the, the roof usually. Um, if you use it without this disc, it's basically you, you're drilling a hole and you're running the cable in the headline and, uh, and routing it that way. But if, for instance, let's say you some of your trucks you were leasing and you're like, I don't want to cut a hole in it, or I can't, I'm not allowed to, then this is a magnet mount, very strong, pretty hard for me to pull off a, a vehicle once it's on there. But basically, you're going to screw this antenna to that mount and then stick it on, and you have um, a flex or uh, magnetic mount option. All right, so a uh, couple other ways that we do it is on, on RVs. RVs have uh, been very popular last several years. Uh, people not just traveling, but maybe camping and working remotely. So they want to be able to, to have a signal. And so again, outdoor antenna, amplifier, and indoor antenna. And so we have a couple of versions of this uh, particular uh, RV solution. One's the drive reach, which you've heard that name a couple of times now. This is great. It works just like the others. You put it on, kind of forget about it. You drive, you know, drive around, you have better signal. Um, but there are also occasions where you have customers who are going to park in, a, um, in an RV park for an extended period of time, maybe a month. And they want the most powerful option, but they're going to be stationary. So the destination RV is a solution that has a 25-foot extending pole. That way you can get the, uh, the antenna up as high as possible and get even better signal. It's, a, it's got a directional antenna because, again, this is used for a stationary use only. So you do not need an omni antenna like on these. You're just using an, a stationary uh, directional antenna and pointing it right at the tower or your closest tower uh, to get even a better signal there. So it's really... This is really powerful for someone that's going to be stationary for a period of time. It, and because it's stationary and not driving, I mentioned before, you couldn't, you can only have the most powerful booster by the FCC, but that's 50 uh, dB. But if you're stationary, you're kind of considered, you know, a house. You're not, you're not on the road. You're not going to mess up, mess up towers as you're driving around. We can then provide an even stronger, this is a, a residential uh, unit. So it's basically um, a residential solution, but for your stationary uh, RV. And then we have the Drive X, um, which is a slightly less expensive version of the Drive Reach. I mentioned earlier the Drive Reach Overland. That is it has been a very popular product. We launched at the beginning of this year. It's actually been the biggest single launch of WeBoost products we've ever had. It's done very well. Uh, you know, it really addresses this uh, enthusiast lifestyle, the overlanders. They, they have these beautiful trucks with all kinds of equipment on it, expensive stuff. And uh, it, price is no object generally for, for these people. So um, they want everything. And WeBoost is a very, very popular brand uh, in that market. Um, so our off-roading, camping, so on, van life, those are all things that, you know, people are trying to do, get out more especially after a few years of being stuck inside. So um, the Drive Reach Overland, fantastic product. Again, all of our products come as a kit. So it's got everything you need in the box. Um, and then you can see here, oops, go back one slide. You can see here that um, you know, it's got the amplifier, it's got the antennas with a mast um, that a special, uh, specially designed mount that we created for the Overland, and then all the accessories to make sure it's, you know, installed and tied down correctly and, and looks nice. And this is the mount that I mentioned before. 
um, it's toolless. So you can just, you pull this knob out and twist it. This is all, you know, machined aluminum, very strong, can take any kind of beading. Uh, and then you can have your antenna either upright, like the OTR antenna would be in most installations, but then you have the option of either tilting it down or laying it flat. You're not gonna get as good as uh, performance when laying flat like this all the time. So you'd want it up unless there's a reason to put it down, but you can easily just get out and you know, turn the knob and lay it down and get it out of the way if you need to. And if you're loading and unloading things, it makes it a little easier there as well. Um, that can be mounted a lot of different ways. The way we designed it, it can mount on T-slots for different kinds of roof racks. Uh, it can mount on a lot of different kinds of poles if you have those on the vehicle. Uh, so it gives you optional ways. Um, you know, we're constantly looking for new designs uh, that, that we could uh, create to, to mount on different kinds of vehicles, but it's been fantastic uh, opportunity for us this year. Oops, there we go. Um, and here you can see it's in the down position. It's got a little stand on there that, uh, that keeps it stable if it's, uh, if it's not straight up. Hopefully my slides are moving along just as fast as I am. Um, so this shows you again how it would be mounted. Uh, you could do it either long ways, sideways, whatever, whatever you want. And people will test us on that. We've been at a lot of the overland shows this year and last year. Uh, it's been tremendous, a lot, of, um, a lot of interest in this product. And we actually have some options which I'll show you. So as I, I said, it comes with everything in the kit, but you know, for 90% or 99% of vehicles, it's 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 a perfect fit. But we do have some other uh, things that people can buy as options. If you want to hardwire it, that's that's a, a, a kit that you can buy. Or if you need a, a different kind of antenna, so maybe if anybody's ever been in a Sprinter van or something like that, it's kind of your it's kind of your Overland uh, hotel on wheels. That's almost more RV-ish. So some people might want a desktop antenna. If it's if you need a little bit longer mast, you can order those or a longer cable because of the size of the vehicle and you're routing it in a particular way and you need that. But again, you can can buy those uh, components. You can also buy our overland mount as a separate item. So there might be some customers out there that do have the the OTR. Like, well, I already have the OTR. I don't want to have to buy a whole new kit. They can buy the overland mount and replace the way they mount their OTR and basically have the same the same type of thing. So that's an option too, just to kind of upgrade there. And this Overland, uh, the OTR antenna, again, is our most popular antenna. Uh, I just put this slide up just to kind of explain something because this, this could come up sometime. Somebody says, I've, I've installed it. It's not working as well as I expected. Um, with with wireless, you've got your outside antenna picking up signal from the tower, and then it's broad. It's it's got a cable here, but it's it's basically receiving any signals around it. So if you had your indoor in, or interior antenna real close in like this kind of situation, you could have this overlap where this antenna outside antenna is picking up amplified signal from the inside. So we always suggest to make sure that you. You know, you move it back slightly if that if that is an issue, move it back slightly and it'll probably go away. You know, the best way would be to have more space between them. And that would assure that you don't have any kind of oscillation between them. But, you know, that's, again, uh, very rare, but it does come up sometimes the way that people have installed them. I did want to mention that we have a WeBoost app on the app stores. Uh, for Apple and Android, and if you wanted to, if you wanted assistance with installation, you just put this app on your phone. You say install my booster, and it'll walk you through. It'll give you before and after readings, so you can see how well it's done. There's a, a button for more information. There's a find button to find where your closest tower is for your carrier on the phone that you're you're using. So I have AT&T. I would press that button. It would move around like a compass and tell me where the AT&T tower is. So that makes it easy to use for uh, those directional antennas that you need to make sure they're kind of pointed towards the tower that you're going to use. A signal button 
you can press that. That will actually take about five seconds and it will give you a uh, signal reading where you are. So you can take it outside and then you can go inside and do it and you can see the degradation of the signal strength when you've moved in, into a building or a vehicle. And so that can uh, also help you with knowing whether a particular space needs it or, or maybe like in a, in a house or a building, you take the signal reading at one end of the building and then at the other end you say, well, wow, it's really a lot, it's a lot weaker at the west end than it was at the east end. So I, I might want to put the, uh, the system a little bit closer to that. But again, this is a free app. You can use this and uh, it's very, very helpful. If you are a professional installer and you're going to start doing maybe more buildings or, or things like that, um, it's important to, to have a device that can give you all towers for all carriers. So we have a, we actually have a handheld uh, unit. It's about $1,300 less price. That gives you everything and you can save reports. You can download it as a, uh, as a project, save it for later, you know, kind of follow up with customers, but it's a great way to be able to, to go in and get an assessment and show customers, you know, what their current situation is and then, you know, discuss how you could fix that for them. All right, before I move into home, are there, were there any questions or in the chat or anything else? No, I think, um, no, I think, I think we're good as far as questions, um, unless you saw something, Ken. I did not. I was watching. I was actually interested in all the video, all the uh, vehicle stuff you had uh, available at the Weeboo stuff. And now you're getting a home. I can only imagine what you're going to have available for that. This is nice. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, appreciate it. So, we use cell phones everywhere. In fact, over 70% of all calls are made indoors. So, it's great that the towers are outside, but most of the time we're not making calls out there. You know, we're not receiving our texts outside. So, if you do, I live in a in a house that has stucco on it. So it's got or chicken wire underneath the stucco, which creates a Faraday cage, which just blocks signal. So from my driveway, no problem. I, I can make a call out there. I have a good signal. I walk inside, I walk into my office, shut the door. Now it's very rare that I would ever be able to get a call or at least maintain a call, even if I could get it. My phone could be sitting on my desk, but it just would drop. It's just not strong enough and reliable enough. And, uh, you know, several years ago, I, I used to work remotely and I'd be out all day. I'd go to Starbucks. I could get my email in a lot of places. But if I was in my home office, like I've been most of the last few years, all day, it's a challenge. And um, I was actually fairly surprised at how often my Internet goes out, even for 20 minutes, but sometimes as much as six hours. And when it's out, if you don't have Internet, then you're, you're kind of stuck, especially if you're doing videos like this. And I've actually had that happen where my wi-fi dropped contacted them they said we're working on it we are aware of it we don't know when it's going to be up in those cases my cellular still works so i opened a hotspot on my phone connected my laptop to the hotspot and have done teams calls over it and without people really even knowing that i wasn't on my my wi-fi so so which solution should you get i'm going to show you a couple of solutions in a minute but this kind of this is a good graphic it shows you a, a typical kind of residence here. Um, in this case, if you just wanted to cover in the green here, this one room, then we have a thing called the, the home studio. There's the home room and the home studio. The home studio is the newer version of the home room, but that will cover one room and probably, you know, for some people or even in a small apartment, that's good. With slightly larger houses, they might want to cover a living room, a kitchen, you know, maybe a bedroom. The multi-room, which is our Biggest selling product, and I always call it the Goldilocks because it's kind of in between. And then there's the full-blown uh, WeBoost Home Complete, and that's going to cover up to uh, about 7,500 square feet. So uh, most people's houses. And what, one of the things that, that we also in, introduce is called the Installed Home Complete. And I'm going to talk about that in a little more depth in a couple slides, but I just wanted you to know that we have solutions that will fit all kinds of sizes of, of residential um, homes. So here's what I mentioned before. Again, the studio, this is kind of an all-in-one, put it on your desk. It's the amplifier. There's the interior antenna. There's an exterior antenna that'll just, if you, you know, if it's next to your uh, window, you can just run it out the window and then, you know, you could put your extra exterior antenna up. The multi-room, which we talked about being the most popular, the home complete, which is you know the big daddy that all 
really cover your house. And then there's installed home complete. And, and what we have here in the installed home complete is when you buy that product, it comes with professional installation. So we, we did some research and there were people that said, I don't want to, you know, for the home complete, I don't want to install it. I don't want to put a ladder on the roof or climb up on the roof. Yeah, I'm just not going to do that. So for those people, we came up with the uh, professional installation version and you, the customer buys it. They get the, oops, they get the box. Inside the box is the, uh, is a card and they can either go to the weboost.us. They could uh, go to call the number. They just give them a code and then choose when they want it installed. And it's the same as if you had ordered internet and your internet provider, Comcast or somebody sends a technician out and they install that box. That's all that really happens. So whether you're, um, if you're a, a dealer or installer and you're, I don't have the services, I don't wanna do that, but I'd love to be able to sell these because I know a lot of customers need these and I'm selling other things. You could easily just buy this product um, open the box, schedule the installation, either meet the person there or just have it delivered to the site and they could take it from there and they will install it and make sure it works. And then the customer is satisfied and, um, you know, you've completed the project. So that's a, a really interesting thing. We also have a version of that for small, medium businesses if, if somebody needs it. So, hey, now I'm going to move on to the the business section, and again, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but this is huge, whether it's in a, in a home or small business, and these could be you know, bank branches, salons, restaurants, things of that sort. Uh, they all these days need signal. They have QR codes, you, know, you gotta be able to scan the, the, uh, the menus and things like that. So um, having, having signal, and everybody's probably been to a restaurant where the signal's terrible and just very frustrating. Um, but so we've got two sizes here, the office 100 and the office 200, uh, the difference is the office 200 has a little bit more troubleshooting in it. It's also twice as powerful as the 100. Uh, so the office 200 is our most popular, um, uh, business, commercial business amplifier kit comes with everything. And then again, if you, if you had a, a salon and the salon owner said, well, I'm not getting on the roof and installing this thing, just order the Office 200 with the prof professional installation. And again, it's all in one. There's no separate contract. There's nothing you need to do. You just call the 800 number, a person in a van shows up, installs it and leaves. So, um, so again, it gives you a lot of options to be able to help customers provide different solutions based on their needs and, uh, and, and make a very good, uh, very good profit on these. Um, one question that occasionally comes up is the whole omni antenna of directional antenna. I mentioned a couple of products and some people have preferences for one over the other. And I think this slide really explains it well. So you see the circle here is our omni antenna, 360 degree coverage hits these three towers. So if you're AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon, you're covering all of them, it's great. And so mo for most businesses, especially like retailers, things like that, I would always suggest using the Omni antenna. And in a lot of cases, they're going to be in a metropolitan area with plenty of towers around. So it, it's really not um, a question. In some cases, you might be a little bit more remote and your building is there and you really only care about hitting couple of towers or maybe all the towers are on the mountain in this particular direction and that's convenient, then a directional antenna, a directional antenna will give you slightly further reach to reach that farther antenna. But, um, but of course, it's not going to do anything for you in the antennas that are out in the other direction, right? So um, the Omni antenna for business is generally the most popular uh, for residential. It tends to be this version with the directional because usually they're using just one carrier in the family. Um, so that is, uh, that's really kind of an overview. We've got contact information, which, um, you know, if there are any questions, we can help you with that, but I'm open to questions or suggestions on uh, 
future trainings if you're interested? Yeah, I think, um, man, that the installed product as as an uh, as someone who used to be a retailer, right? I think there's been many a days where whether when I did install WeBoost myself and I couldn't get someone on a schedule, it would be mm-hmm. an easy sale to be able to get someone else to handle the installation portion for me, which would be huge. Or mm-hmm. if I was uh, in a smaller shop and didn't have the manpower to be able to go and have somebody go out and do the install, um, just having that option to be able to sell an all complete package and say, here's your, here's your package customer. Mm-hmm. You know, everything is done at, at the point of sale. All you have to do is call the, the number and they're going to hook it up for you, which I, I think is just so huge in this market because um, it can be daunting to think about as a homeowner that doesn't maybe do a lot of DIY stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, to think about an installation. I mean, just think about, uh, very similar to, um, TV antennas in that market as well. I think, uh, that's just so huge that, uh, it it definitely opens up a new market for sure. Yeah. I mean, you you explained it perfectly. Um, you know, there are a lot of people that like to do DIY, they can buy their own and, you know, the difference isn't that, that great in the, in the, in the home installation cost. I, I, I think it's worth just having somebody else do it. They'll cut the cable to length. They'll, you know, if they drill a hole, bring it into your uh, attic and just make everything really nice and easy. And, you know, if you have uh, people that don't want to do DIY, um, it's it's just the easy button. Uh, it makes it uh, makes it really good. And then for the businesses, the business side, especially for your your dealers that are doing other projects, or you know, I'm assuming this isn't cell boosters isn't their only business, but I'd love it if they did. Um, they might be doing Wi-Fi. They might be doing cameras. They might be doing ring doorbells or whatever other kinds of business they have. And so, you know, they can focus on that. And again, maybe they've got only so much manpower. They could say, we'll take this. We boost you guys handle the installation part on that. And you're still, the deal are still making the profit on the installation. Uh, we pay, We pay the installer to do it. So there's nothing additional that needs to be done, no contracts or worrying about negotiating. Um, there's no surprise extra cost later on and said, here's the list price. That's the, the customer pays from your perspective. That's it. I mean, you could quote that over the phone without going, well, let me call a contractor. What zip code are you in? I got to find somebody that's qualified right. there. Our installers will do it in all zip codes in all 50 states, including Alaska and Hawaii, and generally as little as two days out so it's really simple yeah. um perfect solution for that well, yeah, that's and perfect. i've had a couple of uh customers that have come to us contractors who said i've got a you know customer that has a bunch of 50 locations in four different states i can't get to those i'd have to send somebody on the road and pay t and e and i'm not i don't have a license in some of those states they just buy this and basically set up the installations and they don't have to do anything. They can now expand their business outside of their traditional coverage area or to augment their, their uh, labor force when they need to. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's definitely awesome. Well, well, Jeff, uh, I, have uh, like I said, before we got on this call, I learned a lot, um, listening to you. And, um, and I think we just need to keep this conversation open as, as the dealers come out with questions and, um, and, and maybe hone in on a couple of different products, we can we can get into the weeds a little bit more other than just an overview. But man, what a great overview of the product line. I, I truly appreciate it. And um, and definitely appreciate your time. Good. Well, yeah, I know it was it was a pleasure for me. And I hope uh, hope we do more of these. Yeah, that sounds great. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. We can Thank even you. pick a few items and pinpoint them, you know, yeah, so for sure. That. Mm-hmm. Well, good deal. Well, hey, Jeff, thanks for your time. Appreciate all the uh, WeBoost knowledge. So, uh, Cody, appreciate you putting this together. And uh, I didn't get any questions, but remember, this is, th- is going to stay up on our dealer page, and it's also going to be on our YouTube uh, page as well. So if we've got any questions that come up, uh, we'll just uh, hit you up, Jeff, see if you can help us out, okay? I'm, I'm more than available, yes. Thank okay. You. A- absolutely. Take care, guys. Awesome. Thanks, everyone.